Hello friends, welcome to Azure Service. This is Anil Nagpal. Today we are going to learn about date time picker in Flutter. So let us start. First of all, import material dot package. Then start main function. In main, call run app method, and here. We can give material app home and call let's say app one put a semicolon. Now take a stateful widget for that you can type stful give the name app1 this is fine now here you can say scaffold if you have any doubts about scaffold or material app or main function or stateful or stateless widget then you can visit my previous videos now say app bar app bar Title, post text, let's say date time picker. Fine. Now, here I want some raise button to be displayed. For that, I'll write body column and say children. Here we can give raise button child text let's say show comma on pressed and give some function name let's say I want to give a function name f1 I want to call a function f1 and put a bracket here fine now make a function f1 and let me make another text which is going to display let's say a so this a has to be declared so let me declare this over here let's say string a is equal to blank now this error is gone fine now this error is there that is f1 function it is asking for the function f1 so let me declare a function future f1 and async now it is not taking that async for that we have to import a package and that package is intl package so for intl first of all go to pubspec.yml file and include one dependency that is intl i have already included now go to main.dart and here import intl.dart package now it will take this if i write it again earlier it was not taking now it is taking future suppose function name is f1 async yeah it's taking now and what I want, I want to display date time picker first and whatever date is selected from that date time picker, I want to show that in this particular text. So how to achieve this? So let me take a date time type of variable, give a name to it, let's say date one, await now show date time picker now it is asking for four parameters first is context so give context here fine so it will take this context build context at this place now initial date initial date is whatever you want 
at the beginning so i want to display let's say the current date for that we'll give date time dot now function now first date first date means from where that date time picker should start the date so we have to give let's say i give 2019 here and in last date i say date time and let's say 2021 fine now put a semicolon here okay now we have taken this date one variable and in this date one whatever we select from this date picker that date will be stored fine now i want to change this a so what i have to give set state first so that whatever changes i make in a it should be reflected to this place so here i say a is equal to date format because i want to change the format also whatever format we want let's say i want dd mm yy and dot format and give that variable name the name was date one now let us try this it's showing a button if i click this button showing me date time picker now if i click this it is showing me jan 2019 see if i click this button previous button it is not moving because we started the year 2000 19 this one now if i move forward november december january 2021 it is not taking after that fine okay now let me pick one date from this place let's say i want to choose this 28th april 2020 if i say okay see it is showing me 28th april 2020 here so that's it for today subscribe my channel and like this video thank you very much